Okay, so in the documentation, if we scroll down, we see this thing called service. So service allows us to do all sorts of stuff, but the main thing here is actually updating how our blog links work. So these links right here, we wanna change them just ever so slightly so they're just you know, a little bit more dynamic. So we do this using route params. So I'm gonna go ahead and first update our URLs themselves and make them more dynamic. So if I change the one to let's say a colon and then ID, this actually allows me to handle the parameters better. So this right here is now a parameter. If I did colon, um, just another thing saying like ABC, I can actually see that as well. And to actually see this in action, I'm actually going to change the template to doing that blog list. And then I'll comment out that last one. And I'm actually gonna get rid of ABC for now, but we will bring it back in just a moment. So right here, this is actually what we'll end up with, except it's not gonna be in blog list. We'll have its own component for it, but just to illustrate the URL routing, I'm gonna leave blog list on there. And now what we're gonna do is jump into the component here. So this is the blog list component, and I wanna use this route params service. So I'm gonna go ahead and copy this, and I'm gonna paste it in, into the function. So just like we did scope, which was built into Angular, we can use route params, which is built into Angular route, or of course, ng route. So this one right here. So going back in here, those things are required to actually use this route params. But now what we can do is right at the top, I'm gonna to just do console log and the route params. That's it, I'm gonna save that. And we're gonna go back into Angular, we'll refresh. Notice that I've got this object now of ID. If I go back to the main list, I don't have any parameters. There's nothing in there, click on this, object ID is showing up. So I can actually use that parameter that I named, which back into our configuration, we called it ID. Back into the component, I can do route params.id. We refresh, click on this, click on the other one, click on all of them. These actually change. So we can actually adjust our blog post according to those parameters. Now I did mention that we could see the other one as well. So if I did slash ABC, I could actually come in here and let's just go and console log the route params again. I'll refresh. Notice that we've got a little bit of an error or excuse me, nothing's showing up and that's because we only have one parameter showing up here. So back into the config, this is only one parameter. So if I wanted two, I could just do something like this. Now both of these URLs will work. One has just one of the parameters and then the other one has both of the parameters. So if I refresh, this comes back. And then if I add another one, I now see ID and ABC. So there's two different parameters or basically keyword arguments is another way to look at them is that these are the, this is the keyword and then the arguments are actually passed into the controlling function on this component. So we can actually use this for, well, all sorts of stuff that we're gonna get into still. But for now, we now have a way to make our URLs more dynamic. So now we actually have to handle that dynamic URL. And we'll see that in the next one.